hi uh, or welcome back to my channel or just welcome from you it is sunshine lorena so guys this is gonna be this will be vlogmas day number seven vlogmas bookmas i'm posting videos every single day up until christmas um so yeah stick around if you want to see some more bookish and Christmassy content guys so yes today we are gonna be doing another we're gonna be doing a book haul guys it's been a couple months since when this went up on my channel but I have continued to buy some books because you know it's me we're speaking about um I have not bought, bought any books in a while you can see I've got a, a bit of a I've got a bit of a stack here guys and I almost knocked them all over so that's just them back to how they were um, I've got quite a bit of a stack here um, and yes I haven't actually bought books in a little while and um, I have been really good not been walking into charity shops because honestly if I go in there I will find a book so I've been really good and not actually going in there um, and just kind of staying away because you know my library switched for the ebooks now into borrow box they already used it for audiobooks and there's a lot of stuff on there and uh, honestly this is for editing me to remember this but also Guys, libraries are really great, but honestly, the app now, like, it has so many ebooks. Like, I don't even have to physically go to the library. There's a lot on there that I want to read, so I don't actually have to buy books. I don't have to, guys. I do not have to. Um, but it's me, so I will. But I'm trying to be good and re actually read the ones I have and not buy any more. Um, so this should be the last book haul that you see for a while, guys. I promise. Um, so there's a mixture of different types of books here. I have some charity shop finds again, because, you know... We love the charity shop, guys. We love it. I mean, when you can find books for 50 pence, who can resist? I have been resisting for a while now, but I mean, when you go in there, you can't resist to pick them up. Um, there's like some gifted books in here and some really gorgeous ones and really exciting ones. And yeah, super, super excited. So let's start off. I'm going to be picking up three initially, and it's because this is a trilogy. And that is The Poppy War by R.F. Kwan. Now, what, the time of this video going up, the announcement video for the read, al read along that I am hosting alongside Jane from the Bookaholic, um, Charlotte from Clumsy Charlotte and Megan from Mythical Megan. Um, it'll be starting in January, um, so go and check out that announcement if you are interested in reading along this trilo trilogy kicking off in January, which is why I have these. I did originally have the first one on ebook, but then when I decided to... Um, join um along with the read along be a host i thought i'm gonna get the full set um get the physical ones um i do really like these covers i really like how they're designed um and yeah so it is a fantasy series if you didn't know it's actually based on pol plot and politics from the mid 20th century china um as well as the conflict in the novel um based on the second Sino Jap Japanese War and the atmosphere is inspired by the Song Dynasty. Um, so it's based on true events but turned into a fantasy novel. Um, I'm not too sure how much of it is fiction and how much is real. We'll have to see when I'm reading through and I will do some research into the actual history. Um, but I'm super excited. Um, so our main character is called Rin and she does this test that is to find the most talented students in the Nikara Empire and she sucks everyone, she passes and she gets into Singard, the most elite military school in Nikan. She discovers that she has some talents um, that she's really good at and along the help of one of her teachers, um, she, I, from what I understand she learns how to use those and there has been poppy wars too so far but it seems like they're on the brink of a third one. And that's what I know from the first one and then obviously the second and third carry on from the plot in the first one. So yes, super excited. If you want to join along in the read along, there's still time. Go and check out that announcement video. Then uh, let's do some charity shop finds, shall we guys? Um, that is a Royal Mill card. I don't know why I have that there. Um, the first one I picked up in the charity shop, 50 pence guys, was Roofwear, The Turn of the Key. And this is actually basically like new how it looks so super happy um so this one i've seen a ton of people reading it really enjoying it i love um i love thrillers and this is a really popular one so i wanted to pick it up and um, so yeah when rowan comes ac across the advert it seems too good to be true a living nanny position with an extremely generous salary 
What she doesn't know is that she's stepping into a nightmare, one that will end with a child dead and her in a cell awaiting trial for murder. She knows she's made mistakes but she's not guilty, at least not of murder, which means someone else's. Um, I have heard that it's like based in like, it's like a smart house and I think it's something to do with the house, um, creepy vibes, um, and I, I believe it's kind of based on Turn of the Screw. Um, so yes, looking forward, excited to that since I've heard so many good things about it and I'm yet to actually read a roofware thriller so that'll be interesting. Again, another thriller, 50 pence and it's a Lisa Jewel one and it's watching you. Um, in my last book haul, I hauled um, The Family Upstairs which is here, again from the charity shop. I have quite a few of her ones on my Kindle and I've still yet to read one. I am going to get to them guys, I am going to get to them, I promise you. Um, but in this one, um, you're back from home after four years of working abroad, you're keen to find a place of your own. But for now you're crash, crash, crashing in your big brother's spare room. And then you meet the man next door. He's the head teacher at the local school, twice your age, extraordinarily attractive. You find yourself watching him all the time. You never dreamed that your innocent crush might become a deadly obsession or that someone is watching you. It sounds really, really great. Um, that kind of premise gives me a little bit of you vibes, as in like, you know, the Netflix series and the book series about like watching someone. Um, yes, I love thrillers, guys. I love thrillers. This one seems intriguing. Um, yes, really, really good. I will get to them, I promise you. Next is another thriller, and that is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I have already read this like quite a few years ago, but I had borrowed it from a friend. And I really enjoyed this thriller. It was like a five star, and I've always wanted to own my own copy. So when I saw it at the charity shop, which, okay, I need to take off the gift um, sticker, but it's actually, again, basically in new condition. This was 99 pence, not 50 pence, but still pretty fantastic. Um, I love this book. I've watched the film. Um, I need to really reread it, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, yes, this one, what's the best way to describe it? I'm going to read the premise actually because. It's one of those things that it's been several years since I read it and I know everything that happens but I don't want to accidentally say something I should do because um, you know with thrillers you can't reveal any twists or anything because it will ruin it. Um, so our main character, one of our main characters is Nick um, and he he is married to Amy and she suddenly disappears one morning on the, the fifth wedding anniversary and the police suspect Nick. Um, Amy's friends um, reveal that she has been she was afraid of him, that she kept secrets from him and he swears that it isn't true. A police examination of his computer shows strange searches. He says they weren't made by him and that there are the persistent calls on his mobile phone. So what did happen to Nick's beautiful wife? And honestly guys, it's so good. It is so 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 good. Um, I definitely need to do a reread. Re -read. I'm going to try and do that next year, but it's such a good thriller. Um, I really, really enjoy it and I highly recommend it, guys. Highly recommend it. Then we have um, another trilogy I have here, guys. Um, and this one is the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I have never read this. I want to read it. You can see it's still in wrapping, actually. Um, it's one that I want to pick up. I've not watched the Netflix series yet because I always I, I want to read them. Um, and basically, I went into um, Tiki Max one day. And they had them, guys. They had them. And I couldn't believe... So now I know, basically, that Tiki Max... I thought they just did, in the little book section, I thought it was just cooking books, etc. It's not. They also have books. I think it was Watching You. I saw it at the corner of me, my eye by Lisa Jewell. I had already got that from the charity shop. But I was like, wait a minute. I went across and I was like, oh, they have actual books, not just cooking books and, like, healthy living or whatever. And that's where I found this and it was $7.99 for all three when actually the recommend retail price for one is $7.99. Absolutely amazing. Fantastic. And yeah, it's a fantasy YA series. I cannot wait to read this. Um, next year, honestly, I need to actually... I'm going to get through my my shelves, guys. That's what we're going to do. That's We're going to set those goals. We're going to set those goals. Um, then I've got another, a couple of ones that have been gifted to me and they were from my mum and when she came down to visit me in the airport, she picked me up a couple of books, um, which is really, really great. I love being gifted books. Um, so thank you, mum. So the first one is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. It's a, a romance novel. Um, I believe that there is like um, our main character is one's a woman, one's a man, and they, well, sh share a flat, um, but they have opposite schedules, so they never see each other. Um, that's kind of all I know. Um, ah, 
so it's a one bedroom flat, sorry. Um, so Lena occupies the one one bed flat while Tiffany's at work in the day and she has the run of the place the rest of the time. But with the obsessive ex-boyfriends, wrongly imprisoned brothers and of course the fact that they still haven't met yet, it seems that this flat share is more complicated than expected. Um, which I think it's really weird that they're sharing this flat but they have opposite schedules so they never actually see each other. I find it so interesting but I do believe it's romance and that sounds super fun to me. The next one that my mum got for me was um, Silver Sparrow by um, Tari Jones. Um, I really need to get this sticker off. We'll deal with that another day, right? We'll take that off. Um, so yes, oh, it's part of the Richard and Judy book club, guys, just so you know. Um, so this one, um, I have American Marriage on my shelves by the same author, which I need to read. Um, I know that her books are um, literally fiction, um, but in this one, so it says, Secrets. My father, James Witherspoon, is a bigamist. Dana and um, Charissi are sisters, bound together by the life-changing secret of their father's double life. Lies. Only one of them knows the truth. When they do finally meet and form a friendship, the fragile balance of ignorance and silence has kept James's secret safe for so long, threat for so long threatens to explode. Hope. This soulful story of friendship and sisterhood paints an unforgettable picture of messy knots that bind families together. Hope. This soulful story of friendship and sisterhood paints an unforgettable picture of the messy knots that bind families together from the prize winning author of American Marriage. And it sounds really good, really intriguing, like secret sisters, one of them obviously knows but they're friends. <clears throat> That's going to be a really interesting reveal when we get to it and I think it'll be really, really good. Then I ought have the second last one of this haul and that is um, Dance on the Octopus and it's by Deborah Harding. Um, so this is a book for Chloe Reads Books book club Crime Scene Corner. She got some from the pub publishers and she posted in the Discord and asked, you know, to, for people to put their name forward if they wanted one and they would just have to pay for postage. And I my, was picked from the random generator and I'm so, so happy. She even popped in a little, a cute little note in there. Um, so thank you Chloe, thank you again. Um, so this is a non-fiction um, based about Deborah Harding's life and it says one Omaha winter day in 1978 when Deborah Harding was just 14 she was adopted, ad, ah, adopt, abducted, wow why was that so difficult, at knife point thrown to the van, assaulted, held to ransom and left to die. But what if that wasn't the most traumatic defining event in her childhood? Um, so it's really intriguing, um, it's really short um, chapters, um, so yes, I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like it's, it might be written in a bit of an unusual style, and I've not looked into it too much, but yes, I'm reading this now in December, and would I have started it by the time this video goes up? I can't remember the buddy read dates, I try and stick to the dates of the Discord because I like chatting with people, you know, when we're getting through each section. I'll need to check that but yes looking forward to it so I might be in the middle of reading this when this video goes up because I can't remember and then the last one in this haul guys which is I've done one two three four five six seven this will be the 13th book this is quite a chunky haul but this is the most prettiest one in all of this guys it's the most prettiest and that is this collection of all Jane Austen's novels um, this is gorgeous, um, absolutely gorgeous. Look at those gold edgings. Look at the inside. It is just a beautiful, beautiful cover, guys. Beautiful edition, um, which is why I bought it. Um, I have been reading Jane Austen's novel in publication order, part of the Austen Long, hosted by Cara Foster. Um, and I really, really love her works, but I saw on Amazon that there was this gorgeous collection. I was like, I need that for my shelves. It's just beautiful absolutely absolutely stunning um and i just i love pretty books so i just wanted to buy it and i got it guys i bought it i saw it i bought it <laughs> um it's just gorgeous okay i want to stop speaking about it but obviously it's all six of our published novels that is sense of sensibility pride and prejudice mansfield park emma northanger abbey and persuasion um at this point of filming this um i, I read the first three and i'm partly through emma december is northanger abbey and then january is persuasion and i'm just so glad that i got this absolutely stunning and gorgeous copy that's it. That is all of the books that I've hauled, guys. 13. And like I said, you're not going to be seeing a haul in a while. I, 
honestly, it's gonna be a while. It will be a while, I promise you. Because I'm I'm not gonna buy books, guys. I'm not gonna buy books. Um yes, that is it. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're gonna take part in the read-along for the Poppy War. And yes, thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you in the video tomorrow. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and yes, see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.